everybody, it's Dr. Joe, and today I'm going to show you some stretches and exercises for a meniscal tear. Let's get started. Disclaimer alert! Disclaimer alert! When your meniscus is torn, your knee becomes unstable. The meniscus is basically like a little suction cup in your knee, that's what I call it. And when it becomes a tear, that suction cup doesn't hold everything together. So basically then your knee is unstable and kind of wiggling when you walk. You, know, you can't see it, but a lot of times you can feel it and it just feels like it's going to give out on you. So we're going to start off with some stretches. The first stretch is going to be a calf stretch. You can stretch your calf a bunch of different ways. I'm going to show you with a strap today. You just take, you can take a strap, you can take a belt, a dog leash works really well, um, or a big beach towel if you don't have any of the others. Take the strap and put it at the, the ball of your foot. You don't want it on your toes and you don't want it down low. You want it right there at the ball of your foot so it doesn't slip off and hit you in the face. Just relax your leg and then pull toward you to stretch that foot. And you should feel it underneath where that calf muscle is. So just hold it for about 30 seconds and then relax and do that three times. Just pulling towards you as far as you comfortably can. You don't want it to hurt because your knee's gonna be a little tender while you're stretching because that calf muscle comes and crosses over the knee. So that's kind of stretching out that joint area so it's not quite as painful on the meniscus. Then the next stretch you want to do is a hamstring stretch. Again, I have a video for a lot of hamstring stretches and calf stretches if you want to check them out, but I'm just going to show you the one where you're lying down. So still keeping the strap in the same spot. You don't have to move it, just at the ball of your foot there. And then you're going to lie down. Bring the strap and just pull it up towards you as far as you comfortably can. You might not be able to get this far, but you want to keep that knee straight. So if you start bending right here, come back down a little bit because you want to keep it straight the whole time to stretch out those hamstrings underneath here. And again, the hamstrings cross the other way. So you want to keep those nice and loose so it's not pulling and putting pressure on that injured meniscus. So again, holding that for about 30 seconds, if you get, bring your toes up towards you, that'll give you a, even more of a stretch and it'll stretch your calves and your hamstrings at the same time. So three times 30 seconds. And then going into some of the exercises, you can start off with a simple quad set. The quad set is basically when you're taking this quad muscle and squeezing it or setting it and that pushes the knee downward. So sometimes people want to take a little roll, have a target, you can do that, or just push down into the ground as hard as you can comfortably. If you pull up your toes, again, that helps straighten out the whole leg. Hold that for about five seconds, relax, and do 10 of those. So squeezing down, you should feel that muscle tighten up right there and then relax. Now if it's painful, don't squeeze quite as hard. You want it to be uncomfortable but not painful. Then the next one, you can either lie down or say sitting up depending on your comfort level. But you're just going to take your heel and slide it up towards you. So just up this way, which is a heel slide. You can take this one, keep it slightly bent or straight down, whichever one's more comfortable for you and then come back down. So just bring it up until you feel some tightness, stretch in the knee, not pain, and then back down. So start off with just 10 of those, and then if they become a little bit easier, then you can work your way up to 20 or 25. Then you're gonna roll over onto your stomach into the prone position, and keeping your leg as straight as you can, just lift it slightly off the ground into that hip extension and then come down. Try not to lift your hips up off the ground. So don't roll it and kick high. It doesn't have to go high, but just lifting off the ground and then slowly coming back down. Again, start off with about 10 of those and then work your way up from there. So the last exercise is gonna be a clamshell exercise. It looks really easy, but if you're doing it correctly, it's actually pretty hard. Bring your knees together and pull them up slightly in this position. The key to a clamshell is your hips should be perpendicular to the ground and the ceiling, straight up and down. Sometimes people roll them back a little bit, but you want to keep them completely up and down. So if you have to lean them up against a wall to keep them up, you can start off that way. But what you're going to do is that top leg, just bring it slightly up. But again, try not to roll back. So it doesn't have to go high. Just bring it up until you feel that stretch and then slowly come back down. Make sure you're doing both sides. 
and just start off with 10 and work your way up to 20 to 25. All right, there you have it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. If you'd like to check out some other videos like the calf stretches and the hamstring stretches, go to AskDrJoe.com. Don't forget to like us and subscribe. And remember, be safe, have fun, and I hope you feel better soon.